Hey, good morning, Jolie Johnson. It is Monday, November 2nd, 2020. Guys, Halloween was this weekend. We had daylight savings time. I'm so well rested that I'm all attached here. My head's back on my body. It's a great thing. Great time to be me. Well, anyway, please stand and join us for the pledges and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for the moment of silence. Well, you guys, like I said, it was Halloween on Saturday. I hope you guys had so much fun and you were super duper safe. Um, and it was daylight savings time. Like we had the fall back from Saturday night into Sunday morning. We got an extra hour of sleep and I know I needed it, you guys. It was glorious to get that extra hour of sleep. Um, and I couldn't have asked for any better weather. I don't know about you, but it was just, I mean, I wanted to stay outside all day, Saturday and Sunday. It was just fantastic to be outside in the world. And guess what, y'all? This week, no different. It's gonna be beautiful weather pretty much all week. Uh, so just look forward to that. Maybe wear a light jacket in the mornings and then by the afternoons, it's gonna feel so good. For recess, probably you'll be feeling good. So just really, you know, beware of that and um, bring, bring that jacket and hang on to it, right? We don't want it to end up in lost and found or anything or just to stay out on the field or something like that if you go out to recess. Um, also, book fair is going on, and I know we can't shop in person, and that's like, that's hard for me too, guys. Like, I love book fair, and I love getting to, to shop in person, and look at all the books, and read the back cover, and then maybe like flip open to like a couple pages in and make sure it doesn't have words that are too crazy hard for me or anything like that. Uh, I just, you know, it's on my level, and I can't do it this year. I can't open the books. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shop online virtually. So I'm going to go to the school website, I'm going to go to my library Schoology page, and I'm going to find the links in there, and I'm going to shop for books that way. I'm going to read the descriptions of the books and, uh, and figure out really what I'm looking for. And the cool thing is, because it's online, if you have family members that are out of town or out of state even, they can order books for you too. So it's a great way to support the school and to support um, what we're doing here in the library. Uh, even if you have family that's not in town, they can still support your school. So that's really awesome. So pretty exciting stuff with the book fair. Um, but you guys, that's all I got today. So from the JLJ TV news desk, I wanna remind you we are all going to be safe, be respectful, and be responsible, and have a marvelous Monday. Bye.